Cheers. 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 Good morning. Cheers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, I'm Lee from the Oshkosh Beer Blog. I'm Adam from McNang Carlson Wines. And we have John, Zach, <laughs> Ian, <laughs> Logan, and Zach uh, from Dublin's Irish Pub here in Oshkosh. And uh, before we start, we're drinking Increased Wheat from Milwaukee Brewing Company. It's a Gooseberry Berliner Weiss beer. Which just went on tap uh, two minutes ago. Yeah. So, <laughs> so are you gonna? You'll have this on uh, all through the next week yes. as well. Okay. Well, actually, we'll we'll be tapping it on Wednesday for the beer dinner, and then we'll carry it on okay. for the next week or two weeks or. So this is a special special preview right now. Yeah, okay. sneak preview. Okay. Okay. Sneak preview. And this is a Berliner Weiss that's basically soured with the gooseberries. So I think that's kind of what we come up with. Yeah. Okay. And the research we've done. Okay. Not really kettle soured or settled by, soured by any uh, bacteria strain. Just more they use the ingredients to get that flavor through. That's a nice beer. It's uh, three point one percent. I think they said. Yeah, on it's you. very low ABV. Yeah. It's nice and refreshing. Yeah, it's actually. Call that uh, lawn cutting beer. Yeah. So with this beer, you're gonna uh, August twenty sixth. Yes. Next Wednesday. A week from today. Yep. Uh, you guys are gonna have a beer dinner here featuring the beers Milwaukee Brewing Company. And this is one of the beers that will be featured during the beer dinner. Yep. Uh, what is this being paired with? This will be uh, our first course, right? Yep. The shrimp and caper rangoon with the cranberry sweet sour sauce. Shrimp and caper rangoon. Cool. That sounds cool. good. Yeah, it does sound good. So uh, the beer dinner starts at six o'clock. Um, tickets are thirty bucks. bucks. Thirty bucks in advance, or is that thirty? Bucks? Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Two. 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 Cool. So do you want to talk about like what else is going on with the beer dinner? Or? Yep. I can start out with that. Uh, Dublin's has been doing beer dinners for about three years now. Uh, we've done over, I would say, about over 10 breweries. I, I would have to say we were one of the first uh, restaurants to start doing it. Our first one was Lakefront uh, Brewing Company, which was great. Uh, it's, it's a way for us to challenge our culinary skills, um, try something new. Every beer dinner, we try and go think outside the box, try something new, a new ingredient, a new technique, uh, maybe some sort of uh, ethnicity of uh, culinary arts um, but uh, like I said we always try and do something new it's completely different than our regular menu we actually do a five course uh, plated uh, dinner that you'd be very surprised what we do uh, definitely come check it out uh, and this is, a, this is a five course dinner right yes yeah, yeah. so what, what do you pick first the food or are you picking the beer first I think uh, that I usually grab the beer first but I I'll start with like a list of like seven, eight beers that I want to do, and then I'll run it by uh, my kitchen guys, see what they want to pair with. Uh, we try to stay away from doing like two IPAs or two stouts. You know, we kind of want to have a spectrum of all the beer. And then once uh, we all nail down the beers, then I get in samples, then they get to spend a, usually a Friday yep. sampling, <laughs> sampling off some beer and hanging out in the put, kitchen getting drunk. Yeah. <laughs> put, put together a menu. So that cask, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get that on there. Um, that's got the snake oil. Yes. From uh, a Milwaukee Brewing Company. Yep, that's the snake oil stout. Uh, what's cool about that is it's they only do it at their brewery, uh, at the brew house. Uh, so that we even have any of it is kind of interesting. But then they went and you know went the extra mile for us, and they actually aged their snake oil stout over espresso beans. Cool. From Anodyne oh. Coffee, which is actually oh, in Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah it's a so, Milwaukee brand. So what will that be paired with? That'll be our dessert. We're doing um, a uh, donut. Um, <laughs> banana cream. A banana cream filled banana donut cream. with cool. a ganache on top. That sounds yeah. great. Right. First time we've ever made donuts. Yeah. Uh, that was that was a homemade donut. Uh, uh, yeah, that was definitely one of those things. Try something new. So yeah, that'll nice. be cool. Nice. nice. So, um, again, that's uh, Wednesday, August. 26. 26. 26. From today. Okay. And then, uh, well, let's talk about something else, too. You see, like, weekly now, you guys are doing a beer pairing. You'll pick a beer yep. and then uh, pair a dish with it. John will, John will usually pick a beer and then I sample it and then I'll do a special with that. Cool. I usually cool. try to keep it like an appetizer so people can eat other food, too. And so we're shooting this on Wednesday, uh, and that'll go till this following Saturday, the yep. end of yep. this week. And this week it's. Uh, I remember it was pork belly, farm to table pork belly tacos. Yeah, with mole the, tacos. What was the beer that was paired with? Uh, it was Old Rest Butin. Yeah, North Old Rest Butin on Nitro. Cool. 
Yeah. Excellent. So that might be a good way to get a preview of what's uh, <coughs> oh, absolutely. coming up. Cool. Well, and what I like about the beer dinners is that it's kind of a departure from your regular menus. You guys are kind of cut loose to yeah. do whatever you want. That's definitely. cool. I'm sure that's nice for you guys, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, even these weekly pairings, just to be able to try something new, you know, actually have something special we can make. It's definitely add to the list of specials we do every, you know, during the week, throughout the week. Yeah. Interesting things for people to come in and try. Well, they usually try to bring in better product, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, uh, and that's, that's something that we try to hammer out during the week so that on Saturday, when we do our Beer of the Week tapping, we have the special ready to go with it. So this week we'll be doing uh, Hinterland's Bourbon Barrel Aged Doppelbach. Oh, wow. Uh, with, are we doing lamb chops? Lamb chops over a tomato salad. Nice. Wow. Nice. We Very just picked cool. up a pig and a uh, half lamb, so we'll be doing a lot of those. Farm to table. Farm to table. Award winning. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. When you said you just picked up a pig, I didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> from the county, they, they were show I'm glad we're still talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> show animals at the county fair. Cool. All too, right. I'm not that too deep. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't the only thing you guys got coming up. Um, September 12th is the fourth annual uh, Dublin's Craft Beer Festival. Yes. All proceeds going to the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, what we're going to do is, the tickets for that are on sale now, $20 in advance, $25 at the door. Uh, we're going to try to bring in 30 plus Wisconsin breweries, uh, try to have around 100 different beers to sample, all local. Uh, Boys and Girls Club is great, it's a great organization, they'll help us out, they'll be here during the day, uh, they'll be doing raffles, uh, that kind of stuff to make you know money for their organization, plus all the proceeds that we bring in. Um, will go to them. And something else that's cool that we do uh, is because after after a lot of beer fest, you have all the leftover bottles of beer. Well, we do uh, seven dollars six packs after. Yeah, the yeah, I remember that you guys doing that. So that, that's in the afternoon. That's uh, three to six on. Yep, three Saturday. to six on September twelfth. Cool, cool. Well, guys, that sounds excellent. Yeah. Oh well, we should talk. About, I mean, the price of that is ridiculously low. Right. It's like what is it? Twenty bucks? Twenty bucks in advance. That's incredible. Yeah, same kind of. Situations they uh, took there. We had 30 breweries, I think over 100 beers. Yeah. And some local stuff. Yeah, hopefully, uh, local, a couple we'll local breweries will be here at the home yeah. club in hopefully this year again. So. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just, yeah, I hope we had the SUVs uh, involved with us last year yep. and the year before. Mm -hmm. this year. Definitely last year. But, I mean, they're great because they, you know, having them here, they obviously aren't asking for anything in return. Uh, a lot of other breweries. Uh, if, if you talk to them and you let them know it's for charity and we're not making any money off of this, we'll get some stuff donated to us. They'll bring in some special stuff just for us. Uh, hopefully we can get some people from the breweries here. And all of that helps us keep the cost as low as we possibly can. So we can get as many people in as possible and just raise as much money as we can for the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. Two last things. First of all, i got to mention here, Ian and Zach are the guys behind Fifth Ward Brewing Company, in case you haven't. Uh, I've written stuff about them on the blog, but I'm not sure if you've seen them in person, so here they are right here. And Logan wins the competition for the first one to finish his beer. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.